how much progress do you think has been made? I mean, I, I think this um, announcement from the Chancellor today, you know, marks some progress. Um, the transition plans being made mandatory is a, a, a very positive step, especially the idea of it being backed by a science-based transition plan task force. But, you know, these um, plans and task force are only as strong as the regulation behind them. I think the overarching message from both, you know, the, the Chancellor's speech today and the announcement we've had from Mark Carney, from GFAN and some others, is an overall message of let's leave it to the market. Uh, and the private sector to fix the problem. We're still relying on these market-based solutions, such as um, information gathering, disclosure, which are based on like the kind of efficient market hypothesis and the assumptions which led to the last financial crisis. That if you know, just if we increase the amount of information, you know, markets will be able to efficiently and rationally um, realign. But you know, we, we've seen over the past decade or decades that um, financial firms have known about climate risk and have done very little. They're still aligned with, um, the markets are still aligned with global heating far above what the Paris Agreement um, dictates states are, are committed to. Um, so we, we need a lot more action from governments to be leading the way in driving this transition. We can't just leave it to the private sector and the market to fix. We can't privatise the green transition. It's far too important for that. Um, 